Hello you guys, it's me, KC, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, hold on, wait a minute, let me go ahead and get something out of the way right now. First of all, Xenoblade came out. If you guys are living under a rock, it came out on Friday. A lot of people did unboxing videos for it. Now, some people may be random raving, oh KC, where's your unboxing of Xenoblade? You were supposed to be su supporting Operation Went Rainfall. And I'm like, okay... You know, I'm just waiting for one specific game to come out, and that's the last story. That's what I really want. I'm not going to buy all three games, you know, and go out crazy, because it's really hard for me to go through and beat RPG games. I really have to be consistent. I really have to be on the game. Like, Breath of Fire 4 for the PlayStation 3's uh, PS1 Classics, that took me a while. I put, like... I invested like 67 hours into that game until I was finished, and that's because I was consistent. But other games, I have some RPGs on my shelf that I haven't even finished yet, such as Final Fantasy V, I haven't even touched that game. Final Fantasy VI, I'm near the end, but I still haven't finished it. And Final Fantasy IV, the After Years, I'm still doing the DLC for that, and I will actually finish that one because Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy X were both my favorite Final Fantasy games. So, with that being said... Yes, I will be getting Xenoblade sometime later on this year, but I really, 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 really want The Last Story and maybe Pandora's Tower. So, now we got that news out of the way, and that's the reason why I don't have Xenoblade, and that's why you guys don't see an unboxing. There it is. We have a rumor Wii U component costs for $180 and will retail at about $300. Now, these are random analysts, like these mystery spies. Oh, yeah, we're going to give you details about Nintendo and what they're doing. You know, they were doing the same thing last year, talking about how the Wii U would look. And some people actually came really close. Some people actually um, said that Nintendo is coming out with a new console, and they were also right. But it's like all these rumors and speculations. I really don't want to hear it. I just want to wait for E3 that for them to actually show it. But here, it's I'll post this down in the link description below. Here they give in give detailed information of how much um, the screen costs, the camera costs, and all of this other tech bullcrap. It seems like a lot of leaked info, just like last year. Remember when the Wii U was a secret? You know, and they said the controller was a tablet and all this stuff, and they happen to be right. Who knows? Maybe this person will be right, but I was aiming and gearing towards 300 or the $350 price point. How do you guys feel about that? Leave that in the uh, comments below. Next thing. Uh, we finally have release dates for Kingdom Hearts 3D and the rhythm game of Final Fantasy coming to the North America. Um, first of all, the rhythm game for Final Fantasy will be coming July the 3rd, right before uh, Firework Day, which is Independence Day. And Kingdom Hearts 3D will be coming out July the 31st. Now, that's really odd when games come out at the end of the month. I find that to be really fishy. So, I don't know if this game will get pushed up or whatever. But I heard that from my friends that they have a site with leak info about what the game is about and everything like that. So... Who knows? This will be my first Kingdom Hearts game. I'm tired. Of, I'm really tired of being out of the series for a very long time. Even though I kind of think they will be doing an HD collection later on this year. Who knows? We'll just have to find out. In the rhythm game, I really am looking forward to that. Um, as you guys should know, I really like rhythm games. Like, really. I have Rhythm Heaven. I've been enjoying that. I don't want to fully complete it because, you know, it's a game that I want to pick up every now and then and just have fun. I don't want to beat it completely. So, I, I will be really looking into that. Last but not least, we have the Club Nintendo. Um, Club Nintendo will be offering augmented reality cards for Kid Icarus Uprising for the North America. Because... Uh, the last time I was talking about there were three cars, they were super rare, and you couldn't get them nowhere else, and I told you guys to hurry up and go to uh, Club Nintendo and sign up, but, you know, it was too late when I made the video and all that other bull crap. but, you know, right now they said that you will be able to purchase these cards 
on their site. So that's a good thing. So if you guys are not with Club Nintendo and you got some saved up uh, Nintendo points lined up in your old cases or whatever, bring them out now. They, even though they haven't uh, put the retail cost for these cards or anything like that, such as the Nintendo points, um, they will be shortly because um, they said they got it. They got the information from a customer service rep that um, Club of Club Nintendo will be giving out these three new cards for Nintendo points. And with that said, um, that's all of the news that I have today. This is my quick vlog. I hope you guys find it very informative. Please sign off in the comments below and make sure to join my chat site, KCSite, www.kcsite.weebly.com. That'll be posted up in the link description below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, oh yeah, and if you guys want to see how the AR cards work as far as the three rare cards that I got and all six or seven cards that I got for Kid Icarus, Post that up in the links. I mean, not the links, but the comments below. If you guys want to see a video of Kid Icarus, you know, duking it out in the AR style. So I will go through each card and show them battling it out. You know, I'll show what each card does. And what that says, if you guys want to see that, post it up in the comments below. Join the KC site, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.